Good evening and hello, I'm Eva Oliveira and this is your excellence on Sky 209. I hope you guys had a lovely week. As you know, excellence is always bringing inspiring, successful life stories. And joining us at the studio today is Juan Fernandes from Ecuador, a surfboard shaper. How are you, Juan? Oh, I'm very well, thanks. Thank yeah. you very much for coming on the show. It's the first time, I guess, that we had someone from the surfing industry. How did you get involved with that? Uh, oh, I got involved a long, long time ago, like around 12, 13 years ago, when I started surfing, more or less. Um, obviously, I live in a country just on the seaside. Everyone surfs over there. It's, it's already now, it's a culture. Family do it, kids, everyone's do it. So yeah, obviously I start in that in the culture a little by little. Uh, repairing silver for my friends, making silver for my friends as well. People was getting involved little by little in the, in the surfing industry, just, just doing that. Yeah, so is that what everyone did at the time? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, obviously once, once you start, start being there with, with your friends, with your mates surfing, Every single day, it's like you bring new stories. Like, oh, when I look this uh, on the magazine, I saw this on the internet. I wish I could have this. So, and then after that, I start like trying to make it. And then they were like, oh, when I like it, you know, I love it. Can you make another one? Yeah. It's a little bit later, yeah. But can you actually make? I mean, back then, I know, you know, the, the cost of life there is much cheaper than it is in the UK. I mean, can you actually make a living out of it? Um, here in the UK, it's a little bit pretty difficult, yeah to start with, you know, like start, starting a business and making a living with that. In my case, I have a family, I'm married with a little kid. Yeah, so let's get back there. How exactly did you end up in the UK? Oh, yeah, <laughs> how did I get there? It's not really um, a surfing <laughs> destination, is it? No, no, it's not like <laughs> the past, uh, like Hawaii, Indonesia, the place I wanted to go surfing. <laughs> um, I met my wife in Ecuador. She was uh, finishing her degree over there. And so I was she's British? Yeah, she's British, yeah. yeah. She's English. Um, she, she went there to, to do some charity job for the government, and I was working as well doing some charity job, doing free server for the kid. So they, they left, they, they can lift the drugs and they can carry on with the sports. So Gemma, my wife, she started getting involved as well in that. So that's how I met her there. So then she asked me, Juan, can you teach me surfing? I said, okay, let's do it. Yeah, definitely I'm gonna teach you. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that's how I met her. So after, after a few, you know, few months uh, meeting each other, I decided, okay, let's, let's have a look to England. Just like, going for holiday. I met her family and a lot of stuff. The first thing I did is I, I Google, is there any surfing here in England? Believe it or not, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, there's, there's many ways. I mean, there are some cool places. I mean, Cornwall, I love Cornwall. Yeah. But I mean, can, how often do you actually go surfing? Um, once it started getting warm, like around April, like beginning of, yeah, beginning of April, until the, the beginning of October, I, I carry on like going every weekend with few of my friends, uh, people from the London Surfing Club. There's a club here in England, yeah. <laughs> in London, a London Surfing Club. So yeah, every weekend they, they meet in a place and then they drive over there. So yeah, that's, that's a way how I get every weekend over there. So and then be in contact with some of my clients and few of them, they are pro surfers. So yeah, it was pretty difficult to get there before, you know, like trying to, to involve my servers in the surfing industry here in England. But how did you do that? Um, I just made two servos in the back of the garden under a tent before, my first two servos here in England. And one of my friends throws me and say, listen, Juan, I'm gonna have one of you. So I made them. And then I just take a few pictures with my friend. We went surfing, trying the ball. And then I just opened a free blog spot in, on the internet. So yeah, start putting, uploading the pictures and all the stuff. So people start like taking a look, giving me an email like, Juan, can you do this? I say, yeah, let's do it even working with rain and the cold weather outside, so it's pretty difficult. Yeah. yeah, but I never say no, so I start doing it. And then I received a call from one of the uh, best surfers here in England. Uh, his name is Nick Loy, he lives in Devon. He said, Juan, um, I want to have one of you both. Wow. It was like, wow, I can't believe it. You know, like, yeah, let's do it. Before I did it for a few surfers, a few pro surfers as well in South America, in America. Yeah. Um, but when I received his call, like a few weeks, I arrived, you know, since I arrived here in England, I said, I can't believe it, it's getting good. So. I worked very hard, I made the ball, sent it over there, he was very happy. Put his pick to my blog spot, a pro surfer with my name over there, started getting up. So I received more calls, people around England, people from overseas, Japan, uh, Europe, America, it's like, yeah, it's unbelievable. So it's literally, obviously working hard. Yeah. So yeah, and then traveling every weekend, showing my ball, talking with my client, always being in contact with them. So 
that's that's what keeps the business yeah. running. So do you have like a unique technique that makes you stand out or? Oh no, the, the, what, what is the best of, no, I'm not, I don't want to say the best of me shaping the ball. It's like, I make you ball under your specification, you know, like yeah. depending on your level. So I study your case practically, you know, like we can even go surfing, I can let you some ball, we can make like uh, free samples. And then after that, I made you perfect ball just for you, for yeah. the right side, or for the for the perfect conditions. I make it just for you. So it's like, that's what, what made me different of many other people that they just make it. They made the ball using machine, computer machine, CNC. Okay, so uh, what is the difference? I have to apologize. I don't know much about oh, yeah. um, surfing boards. So <laughs> just explain to us exactly the difference. Oh, the difference. The difference is like one is made with a machine. The other one is made by hand, with my hand. So oh. I spend hours. Oh, I don't okay. sleep very well. So which one do you use? <laughs> Uh, I, I use my hands. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they're handmade, hand finished. Obviously, we're a little bit off machine, you know, like carpentry tools, very yeah. basic. But the other industry, the, the machine ones, is made like a oh, very, very big industry of, you know, uh, Chinese surfboards, Japanese surfboards, coming from all the area over here without any knowledge about surfing. Yeah. So they, they just make a mold and they start making that ball, like thousand and hundred. Yeah. yeah, massive production, so very cheap, very, very bad material and it's not for you, it's not made for your side. So you go into the shop, you buy a board, and it's not very good. Where do you get inspiration from? Um, I mean, as you said, you know, each board is unique because yeah, it's, it's, it's made unique. for that person in particular. And where do you get so much inspiration from? I don't know, I just, I just love what I do. Yeah, obviously, now my, my biggest inspiration is my son. He came into a country, foreign country, not much surfing going on over here, and then you had a son. How, how, I mean, how was the adaptation in the beginning? Holding a conversation with someone, with a client, and then, you know, going out, meeting people. That was pretty difficult, definitely difficult. And the weather as well, it's just always cold, dark, depressive. It's like, oh, I just want to stay just in the house, I don't want to go out. Yeah. But it's, yeah, pretty difficult. But after you cross that, it's like, yeah, you carry on. So, and another thing that I learned is like, I never say no. Yeah. So if you ask me to make something, I would never say no. Because if I say no, I don't give you confidence. You yeah, but what, what is something, you know, I love that we always have a creative um, guest to see. It? So sometimes it's hard if someone is asking you that you think it's not, not going to look cool or it's not exactly what you do. I mean, how yeah. do you find the final line between being professional and make sure you do something that you enjoy? It's like always I, I deal with them as a friend. So I never, I never see a client that always a good friend. So take him or take her for, you know, for a bit having a chat, talking with them about how long have they been surfing, even go for surfing, you know, like having that, that experience with them. So I, I can be with them, I can see them. So I you can sort of build a sort of relationship beforehand. Yeah, yeah. 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 I build a, a, a big relationship with them. Even like sometimes become like very good mates, very good friends. Believe it or not, it's a very, very good friend. Um, yeah, that, that's, that, that's why I keep myself professional, always as being a friend. And that's the way I enjoy it. Because if I see us money, just like, okay, I just need the money, I want the money, it won't be right, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, I'm just doing it for, for something that, it's not a passion, you know what I mean? But if I put passion there, if I'm doing it for someone that I love, and obviously I love friends, that's, that's what you feel. So you, love it, you, you do it very well, so you do it with, with love and passion there. Yeah. So the boy is going to be right, it's going to be well done, it's going to be, yeah, they're going to love it. So that's the different, that's how I keep myself professional, that's, how, that's what I think. Yeah, <laughs> but you're clearly passionate about what you do. How much does surfing mean to you? How much is that part of your life? It uh, means a lot, yeah. Means, means is, is half of my life now. Because I told you before, now my, the rest of my life is my son and my wife, but it's half of my life. Yeah, so and what does your wife make of um, your... Does she like it? Yeah, she loves it. Yeah, she's enjoying it. She never served before. She lived in this city all her life. Uh, always is a city girl. Going out, uh, going night, pubs, uh, good restaurants. You know, like it's pretty different into living in the beach. So, but after she met me, or before she met me a few, few months ago, she started like loving this kind of culture. And then she changed her mind about being in the right things. No, no, obviously she was before in the right things as well, but it's just, it's pretty difficult to, to explain. But she's sharing her life and she fit in me and I fit in her. And what we want now is like just having a perfect house. The perfect house obviously is in the top of a hill in front of a beach. Having a perfect life, living there, that's, that's the, the main things. Yeah. So. 
Yeah, it seems to me that surfing is a bit of like a private club. Not everyone is allowed. Mm. I mean, what is the main, what is the main, uh, the key ingredients for someone who will never surf before? How to get, how to start? Oh yeah, uh, obviously you start like with, with a friend that is surfing, so they, they bring you to the beach. Mm, and then you carry on, you meet more people and start like surfing, surfing with your friends, with your mate. Uh, meeting more people, so little by little you get more involved there. But there are two different between the, the one who wants to start because it's a fashion now, yeah. or the one who wants to start because love it. So that's the big difference, so it's, it's a massive difference. Yeah, so how would you split that in the UK um, between those who just do it because it's quite fashion, it's quite trendy, and for those who actually enjoy it yeah, in the UK? In the UK, between five. Yeah, how would you split it, 50-50? No, between five, one is because Love it. And so four of them one because in it's a fashion. every five. Yeah, one in just every five. Just do it because it's trendy. Yeah, no, because they love it. Oh, because they love it. Yeah. yeah. For the rest of them, it's just because it's a fashion. It's a shame, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. pretty, pretty sad. So yeah, obviously, it's money for the people who want the money for in the surfing industry. Yeah. But it's not something good, you know, like because it's like show you, then you're not in the right, you know, like you don't know what you want. Yeah. So that that's the big difference, and obviously. These are the four, they are going to like take space in all seas. Yeah, so, <laughs> so how big is the industry then? Yeah, it's pretty big, yeah. it's pretty big, yeah. Once you get there, it's pretty big, it's pretty big. You can, you can make a living there. I, I'm not making a full living here because I have a, another job. Yeah, I, what I, is the other job? Yeah, I make furniture and cabinets. Oh, okay. Yeah, I work for a big company. Yeah. So after I finish my full-time job, in the evenings I carry on with my clients and on the weekends. So is that pretty much um, similar? I mean, rather than yeah, yeah, it's pretty yeah, similar. Yeah, I think the basics. It's very similar, isn't it? Yeah, in, yeah. Improve, you know, improve my skills as well because it's more detailed as well with the board. I work with my hands. We ha we do like hand finished furniture, uh, furniture for oh ma massive big places like yeah. the Parliament, the, the Queen. So my comp the, the company that I work for. So. That means then I have to concentrate in little details yeah. and then that improve my skills as well for the server. And how much freedom in terms of creativity do you have uh, doing your furniture? Yeah, um, we, we have a lot of freedom. I'm, I'm very lucky that I'm working for a very good company, pretty, pretty good company. Yeah. So, and as well, my, my own company that I'm running. So I have a lot of freedom. So that's, that's the main thing. That's a good thing. Yeah. So okay, Juan, well, don't go anywhere. We're going to take a short break. I'll be back in a minute. Um, if, you know, as, as always, we want to hear from you if you have a question, suggestion, or we just want to hear from you. Do get in touch with us, excellence at tvmychannel.com. Um, I'll see you guys after the break.